Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about two different ways to do special redirection and piping using Bash. Uh, these are notably shortcuts for other ways to do this uh, and they require a new enough version of Bash but I wanted to kind of show you how you might use them with standard out and standard error. So let's jump into that. Okay so in order to get started we're just going to kind of show you some basic redirections and then we'll uh, adjust them to be more complicated. So I'm going to make a sub shell bash dash C and in this we're going to do echo high. This is going to go to the standard out stream. I did another video on standard out, standard error, and standard in. I will link that in the description so I don't have to completely reiterate that but just do this quickly. Um, if I do ampersand to or, uh, wait, is it this? <laughs> No, it's this. Okay, I always mess up the syntax anyway and we've made a file called tomb. <laughs> Maybe I'm not the best to teach this. Okay, so what this does is it prints, it prints hi on standard out and hello on standard error. Now, your normal terminal will just render them however. Um, you can't really tell that this one is on standard error and this one is standard out, but you'll just have to take my word for it. Um, we can demonstrate that it's on standard out and standard error by you know, sending standard out to dev null, so essentially saying ignore standard out, and you'll see that we only see the standard error output. Uh, similarly, if we do two to dev null, uh, we will only see the standard in, or the standard. <laughs> we only see the standard out if we get rid of standard error. Um, and the first special redirection that I want to show you is if you do. Uh, arrow ampersand, this will actually take both standard out and standard error and pass them to whatever thing you have here, either a def null or you could you know, make it a file as well. Um, so you can see now this file contains both standard out and standard error. And this can be useful when you're you know, working with a command that has debug information and non-debug information. Maybe the debug information goes to standard error, uh, but you actually want to capture all of that and Know, display it in your log file so you might use a, a full redirection. Now this is kind of a newish, I mean 15 or 20 years ago, uh, newish feature of Bash but some operating systems, <coughs> Mac OS, ship with really really old Bash and so they don't have this feature. Uh, you can combine this same thing that we did before, this is taking standard out and sending it to standard error. Um, you can do that here and then do a redirection and this will do wait a minute why didn't that work oh two to one sorry uh wait does that not work i could have sworn that worked um well never mind i don't remember how to do this <laughs> there is a way to redirect the proper stream so that standard out becomes standard error uh wait why didn't this work um, two to one. Yeah, wait, that, that looks like it works. No, it does not. <laughs> do I also have to do one to one? No? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> there is a way to do this. I don't remember the actual syntax for it because I always just use this because I don't really worry about old shells. Um, Oh, maybe you have to do this to send both of them to F. No, is that just overwrites it? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, there is a syntax, I don't remember it, but this is how to send both streams at the same time to F. Similarly, there's a way to do this with pipes. So if you were uh, you know, taking this hi and hello, and I wanted to grep for things that start with H, You'll see that it didn't actually match my standard error. It was displayed verbatim and not colored like this high down here. Um, but you can also, you know, oops, you can also do a ampersand pipe here as well to get standard out standard error. And I usually use this when I'm grepping log output. Uh, the actual example that was brought up on stream where someone was like, what is that doing? Uh, I was using strace to figure out how a command works and I wanted to grep the strace output S trace outputs on standard error, um, but I might have also seen something useful on standard out at the same time that I wanted to grab for. But anyway, that's, um, you know, pipe ampersand and 
right angle bracket ampersand, whatever it is up here. Yeah. So those are the two ways to send both streams along a pipe or a redirection. Hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Okay, I figured it out, by the way. Um, instead of what I had, which was two to one uh, arrow F, this still lets standard error through. Um, if you put the redirection to F before the standard out to standard error redirection, then it works how I expected. But this is why I use arrow ampersand, because remembering this is, is weird. But anyway, there you go.